It's a well-known fact that the best gun laws in the U.S. are located here in Arizona. Allegedly, which also means that we should be able to find some pretty crazy guns here. Which means today we're on the hunt for the coochiest guns in Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, multiple aliens. Infinity Staccato. Ironically, Staccatos might be the cheapest thing in, in here. Oh, what's up with this Uzi here? Okay, first stop of the day, we are at Scottsdale Tactical. Um, Today's actually, so they actually have their grand opening tomorrow. So they're like kind of sort of open right now. It's like Correct. soft launch. Yeah, um, soft launch. To my understanding, it's in the same building. At, actually, I think we're walking past Haley Strategic right now. So I think it's in the same building as Haley. Correct. And Scottsdale is kind of the higher end, more yeah. bougie part of Phoenix. So uh, it makes sense that we're here looking at Gucci guns, right? right? Let's go scope it out. Let's go in. So I've been in their previous location, which was just down the street. They are in the process of or just finishing up moving in here and uh their re-grand opening is tomorrow so this is a case where people like me live right yep um all right so it looks like they got a bunch of wilson combat you ever mess with those edc uh x9s we had that one no it's, uh, it's different than the sft that's or SFX. what i was going to say is though that's the precursor to that yeah so. um i don't even to, to the truth understand why both of those exist to me they seem like they check the same box so i've never really understood it but. i mean we kind of said that in the review that we weren't quite sure why they both exist but they got a wilson combat 365 i didn't even know they made that a lot of people like these frames they're a little rounder than the flat sided ones and then that one doesn't have the action tune, but they normally have a, an action tune pistol uh, trigger pack in there. Yeah. It's amazing. So much better than the stock. So that swaps the trigger out? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's stock trigger from as yep. best I can tell. Very cool. So you guys are a big Wilson dealer from the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We go through probably two or three Wilsons a week. Yeah, okay. We're one of the few that have the custom Wilsons in store like these exteriors here with the optics cut uh-huh uh, right now wilson is taking about eight to 12 months to do optics cuts if you find one it's kind of like like a nighthawk if yeah. you find one and, you, and it's close yeah. go ahead and get it yeah, yeah, yeah. which right. after putting that one away there's a nighthawk over here that i'd like to take a look at i'm sure you can guess you and which probably everyone? about 50 Not, other people you're looking in the wrong direction sir what uh yeah i'm not seeing what you're tracking here so the sandhawk the that sandhawk i'm gonna tell you right now has caused us to rethink even our grand opening really because <laughs> people are asking if they can camp out are you for serious that? for this for that yes absolutely there's that much demand for sandhawks? um just because it's available so, without the weight so i'm not gonna put a, the gentleman's name on blast but i did have a gentleman come in and last week and say hey i'll buy the sandhawk another nighthawk and one of the nemos just so i can, so I can get that sandhawk holy shit! i'll spend 12 grand just to be able to have the ability to purchase that that's insane it's just because of the weight yeah because it's available yeah. and and you uh, you most of the times i've ever seen those are not available on the counter to sell yeah that's fair. people order them and they come in and if they're there's so to have one available that you didn't have to wait 18 months for yeah is very rare yeah i think i only the last one i saw was eight months ago yeah and that was us and it sold before it came in the door that's cool you guys did a uh, gold, gold bead on that front mm -hmm. side too it's kind of cool just don't you know classy touch for 1911 oh, you know, just don't don't see it that often really um that's wild man i had no idea the sandhawk um like craze was was that significant yep wow. it's the color and because yeah no, you can't i mean, get that color anywhere else the no. anodized grip yeah with the cerakoted frame and slide it just it works i this color is my favorite yeah no it's very cool um it's a the the, the grip is, is very very cool on that yeah jake i got something for you what I have for oh, you. I don't like what you're doing, right? I don't like what you're doing. Oh, it's thank, a belt. Thank God it's just a belt. What belt is this? Segera, yep. sir. Okay. XL. Is there a problem with that? No, there's no judgment. I'm just saying it is an extra large, uh, you know, it's, it's a 
lengthy. It's a normal size belt. Yeah, no, it's a lengthy belt. You don't belt. tell the people why this. Um, yeah, so anyway, they're very comfortable. Uh, we all probably EDC and need a good EDC belt. Don't make EDC belts more complicated than they have to be. Um, belts are relatively straightforward, but very good, very mobile. If you need something a little bit more um, rigid, that would be the emissary belt great for the range or EDC. And then there's the battle wagon if you want something that's in the quote battle belt uh, territory, which really at the end of the day means range battle wagon. Most of the Correct. folks in the battle wagon are conducting battle on paper targets. Correct, much um, like we are. Yeah, right? but our code 1911 syndicate will save you about 10% off the belt. Check them out guys. So that, I mean, and you guys have a TRS comp too. Yep. I mean, I would assume, I mean, it's funny because it's the same gun. So check this out. Here's what most people don't realize. Or at least I think. So the TRS comp, TRS comp, and then this Sandhawk, exact same gun. Yeah. If you get this cut, you have to ask. You have to get that cut, the Sandhawk cut on the front. Okay. Other than that, the exact same gun. When you say cut, are you talking serrations? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, the serrations. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. It's the exact same gun. Exact same gun, just a different color, and uh, Dude, it's so. I mean, Chris will tell you. Here in Arizona, people love their FDE. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So, I mean, I don't own a black gun. Like literally, everything of mine is FDE or some variation yeah. thereof. So, can I check out that Agency 19X? Or you, you visit an authorized retailer? Definitely more my they speed. Will like the titanium yeah. screws. Yeah, the, you just don't see a lot of these uh, agencies and gun shops. See, to me, that's a really clean nice aesthetic. But for me, I mean that because that's you can carry that. Like I can use that as a class gun. Like I could do a lot of shit with that. Oh. That's the a four really quarter nice inch barrel on a on a nine mil nineteen eleven is, I think, the sweet spot. It's, it's hot, so I'll let you dictate how you want to handle that, but you, you might enjoy that. Um, oh, is this the Thunder what, Ranch? No, it's a Treasurer. Um, so we did it on an aluminum frame, um, and uh, I'm a lefty, so it's, it's uh, you know, ambi gun. And also, to note, that was proper etiquette in a gun store. If you want to show the salesman behind the counter your gun, yeah. you don't pull it out and point it at no, them you when do you give it to them, well, which that's, happens That's a bad often. look. I'm also going to do that. He's going to have our fancy look we'll at that. Oh, yeah. He's going to wipe that's it down for you, Jake. This is Dang. service here. Let's talk about premier service, man. <laughs> I come to Scottsdale more often. While yeah. he's doing that, too, I, I like that you guys got into some helmets. Yep. Which is pretty cool. Some good ear pro too, amps. Yeah, very good ear pro. As far as accessories, that's an uh, awesome to see in the shop. Yeah. Now this, as far as a carry gun, every day? Yeah. This is... It's not a range gun, it's not meant to be a class gun, like that is a dedicated EDC gun. This is very nice and comfortable. Yeah. I could carry this, like, it, and you wouldn't even notice it. No, and I thought those grips were gonna just chew me up, and they really don't. They, like, they look very, so what's cool about these is they look very aggressive. Yeah. But on the surface, they're smooth. Yeah. Right? And so if you're gripping it and putting pressure in there, they'll grip. Oh, yeah. But then when you're riding it and carrying, yeah, you're, you're never going to feel that. No. Right? So this is from Atlas Gunworks. This is a Chico. Right? So yeah. you can compare these to cars, kind of. Mm -hmm. This is a true race car. Mm -hmm. Like, you just not, it's, yeah, GTRS3. Ferrari F F FXX, like yeah. it is a true race gun. Yeah. Um, it, it's go ahead. It's it's like they're on ball yeah. bearings, but no, they, they they very much are. We, I I've um, shot a handful of these, and um, yeah, if people wanted to play the air rack game, you could air rack that. Well, and for a production race gun, they're very nice, right? Because yeah. they're semi-production. Yeah. Yep. yeah, they're in that like yeah. hybrid. I, I I would say hey custom attention to detail and fitment and refinement and everything, but it's not a custom gun. P people butcherize the term custom yeah. gun. Much like it's a like, Nighthawk is a custom one gun, one gunsmith. Mm -hmm. And even that, is that a you're working off of a base model that then Correct. you determine, hey, I wanted fluted uh, you know, barrel hood and ambi yeah. safety and all this kind yeah. of shit. But it's like, Atlas really is just a very nice, very Gucci production. Well, they, only make, they only make so many models, but they, and they only have a, a limited production number a month. Yeah. Right, and so again, that is also in the the Sandhawk realm of yeah. if you see one, yeah. you get it. I got a trigger on this thing, so I'm gonna guess uh, 
All right, standard little bit of take up. It's just gotta be around two. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be two-ish. Yep. That's yeah. clean. Uh, that's just really clean. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's up with this Uzi here? <laughs> uh, that is, uh, it's on sale, but not for sale. That's a non-answer, sir. Yeah, that's <laughs> about the best mini. answer I can give right now. <laughs> that's a mini, right? Yes, and it is. Well, uh, talk to me. It I'm is real. Uzi. I'm in it's the transferable. No, no, not fully. I'm in the Uzi market. Talk to me. <laughs> what am I? What, what, Depends. What do, you, do you have an SOT? Yes, I do. Then it is for sale. Can I see it? It's a post. It's a post sample. Uh, I'm not an 07 though. So I don't know if I could, AKA, does it shoot really fast? It has the giggle button. Yeah, okay, then I can't take it. I still want to see it. <laughs> you still have to take it out of the case. <laughs> Damn it. If that was semi-auto, I might've walked out of here with something right now, and I'm not kidding you. Really? Dude, I'm in the Uzi market. I have a shop trying to hunt me down an Uzi right now. You know Dwayne has one, right? Which one though? It's one of those. Is that the actual number? No. Okay, it's damn it. Like, <laughs> no. Figure it out. <laughs> no. No. A, uh, let's just say a moderately priced mid size SUV. Okay, yeah. Man, so that's a transferable, huh? Yep. yep. Dang, that is, that is so badass. Damn. Yeah, so I, I really, so I want to get uh, a mini, or a micro is what I want. They're, they go for ungodly amount on the secondary, oh, yeah. which is why I've been trying to, you know, calling whatever favors I've got or, <laughs> or a mini. And, um, and I want to get crazy with it and, well, and like weld the rail on for, oh, for lights just in and the, optics. And just light. in the last 10 years, they've gotten crazy. They've jumped up probably 50% in price and value. But, and only because I've seen it firsthand is the boomer generation is getting to the age where they're willing to give up stuff. Mm. and sell okay. stuff yeah and so places like rock island auctions uh any of the auction houses the mm -hmm. big ones are willing to take them in yeah. and actually deal with it it's becoming a little bit i'd say in the next five years you might start seeing the numbers increase mm. but That's a very good point. but but the price is going to go up more yeah because these are going to be these are going to be retirement uh funding people's retirements mm -hmm. at the point. Okay, isn't that crazy? Hey, I'm really Guys, if you're looking for any ways to support the channel, um, frick yes is what I say <laughs> to that. Um, go to 1911seneca.com. You will find merch such as this very nice hoodie. It is winter right now. You should definitely be wearing hoodies. You can conceal carry with them very, very easily. Scope it out. Um, with the Segura belt, just all the plugs and all ones the plugs here. in one. Um, but uh, hey, we're also a real estate company. Uh, you can learn about that on the website. There's also the Patreon that'll be linked below. If you'd like to donate a couple bucks, get some behind the scenes stuff, uh, special giveaways, all that kind of stuff. Hey, you might even come out to film with us. We do have people from Patreon showing up today Saturday. to be in videos with us. So check it out on with the video. Second stop today on the hunt for Gucci guns yep. is a uh, shop that maybe I have a little bias towards because when we started the syndicate, I worked here. We're at Pistol Parlor, but specifically the higher end, or higher end side of Pistol Parlor called the Vault at Pistol Parlor. So uh, let's go look at some Gucci guns. Right out the gate, you want one or two Lago aliens? Because they have two. That's cool, right? That's cool. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Chris. Charles. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Charles. We got a. So you watch the show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice oh, to meet oh, you. Oh no way. Cool. Black yeah. 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 Fitment on it's like awesome. super Looking clean right there. Shit, that is I know. Perfect fitment. Dude, nice pickup on that. Dude, great company. Dude, that's a. That's a great. One. I mean, that's the can for that gun. For sure. Oh, it's, 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 I mean, if you're gonna get an SR15, a Knight's can is is the appropriate route. Absolutely. Yeah. What? Man, just rifle through it and oh, check your stuff. Yeah, go for it. Oh, come on, son. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the dollar's losing value. Dude, awesome. Night stuff doesn't. So exactly. What's the difference? Nothing better than a customer picking up some of the Gucciest of the Gucci on the hunt for Gucci guns, right? So, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, multiple aliens. Infinity staccato. Oh, sweet. 
That's the uh, Infinity just came out with a trigger that you can basically like the, yeah, the trigger you can drop well, into auto and adjust the, the over travel. Very cool. Why am I not shocked that they have that here? Ironically, staccatos might be the cheapest thing in, in here. In Usually, here. that's the most expensive thing in a shop. It's got one of the uh, Terran rifles. Yeah, cool. They can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check this out too, Jake. Oh yeah, there's, there's my girl right there. Is uh, an accessory? It's an R. Is the question? That should GTS. be. This is weird. This is like legit the shop that I worked in. Now I'm here, you know, full circle. I think it says it's adjustable sights. Is that? Turkish walnut. I oh, like Turkish walnut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to like Polish walnut. I don't fuck with that. Man. Yeah. It's custom uh, Springfield out here. It might be from the Springfield well, custom shop back in the day. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you like? Yeah. What's your favorite? For the Marley? Yeah. Like so they, they got a new one called Altair. It's super good. Okay. I, I can pull it out. You see that? Out of habit. Lock the gun back, drop the mag, and hand it in a safe manner to the customer. Well, I will fully admit it. That definitely has had been significantly worked over by their, their shop. Because that feels like a damn custom 1911 right there. Shit. Is this nice? It's got to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Spicy? Man. Hey, Springfield Custom Shop might have some... Uh, might have some some tricks up their sleeves. I think that's an older one though. It is, but it, it makes me curious yeah, about like, okay, what, what yeah. do they do over there? Cause that's, man, that is a phenomenal trick. Aesthetically good looking gun, huh? I actually don't really like the way it looks. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but beyond that, they got a combat, got a combat precision one. Sounds. It sounds like that sky I had. Holy shit. Yeah. That was a hard match, man. Like, that was an 80 match. I didn't like it. First two trigger pulls with this guy on the round match, I'm starting it. So he's getting angry. So that cut right there. Uh huh. This was our new for a old muscle car like the scoop on the Yeah, I remember when you designed that. It's a cool concept. It's cool that you took it, huh? I was still shocked. Pass. <laughs> that feels and sounds like absolute. Listen to like a quarter of the way. Yeah, hearing all the coils get out. That sounds like fucking garbage. And there's way too much texture on that trigger. It's like, why does the trigger need to bite my finger? I'll pass again. I pass the first time, I pass harder the second time. There was a day when, I mean, I knew mine was overpriced at like almost eight grand, but I thought, shit, at four, it's a steal. Turns out I was incorrect. When you carry this much stuff, of course, we're gonna find our preferences. Grab me a try or 20 left. Let's just see. It's been a minute. See, see how we're looking at this. Man, I legit am feeling like I'm working behind a gun counter right now. <laughs> with a guy that's not going to buy anything? Yeah, with a guy that's wasting my time and probably can't afford half this stuff. That's true. <laughs> I'd have to do the barter system. i tell you one thing, man. That price for the plastic grip, can't do it. Can't do it. I mean, there's many other options I'd go with uh, before that, like, uh, I don't know, seven or eight staccato models before that. Uh, let me see that Artemis. That Artemis should be solid. Which he uh, he is low on Atlas right now. He's usually got quite a bit more. Atlas guns actually sell pretty well is, is the impression right They do. So we reviewed one of these. They are wonder if there's more in there that the should feel like. Yeah. That's what some shit should feel like. How? Explain it to me. So what do you measure? Tight, your, uh, tight as not a... abused, not ridden hard and put up. A... No, that's that's just a very. <laughs> is, this, is this a Gucci gun review or? Is yeah, this, this it's the hunt set. for Gucci guns. You know that part of it. Set. I like I like <laughs> the, the headlamp that you wear. You like you his wear. headlamp? Dude, like you wear. Eddie doesn't mess around, bro. He's like a jeweler. Just working on stuff. Yeah. 
I have my boots. He has his yeah. he has his eyeglasses. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm autistic. You should carry like engagement rings in here. You could do a little bit of everything with, yeah, with the is. setup you've got. He's trying to get into cologne. Sir. He's like a high end fragrance. Yeah. See, guy. that's that's what that should feel like right there. Yeah. That that feels like that was done right. Get some bullets. Yeah. Got a twenty ounce, dude. Okay. The beef right that's there. Good. It's like that is good tension, right? my size rifle, dude. Hey, it's like a short barrel for you, right? You are. I, I mean, the whole table thing. This is cool, right? So the idea here is like, you know, you have an experience. Yeah. Right. Cool. You come, you sit down. We go over guns with people. You know, it's cool. I, I, think, I think it's neat. I think it's good vibe, neat. isn't it? Yeah. No. I mean, it's clearly very nice. Um, so it's not a glitter rail, Jake. Like it is grip tape, like skateboard grip tape. I mean, we usually go eat food. Is that what guys tell themselves to convince themselves yeah. they're not gay? No, this is like a lot of uh, competition guys do this to their guns, so they have more grip. So a lot of gayness. So. Well, I mean, if that's what you think competition is, then. I mean, if that's what your rail looks like, it kind of sticks her itself there, don't it? I mean, you tell con me. Man. Controversial opinion? Controversial opinion? I think not. I mean. Chris has any. There's a very practical use to it. <laughs> you guys keep telling yourself that. I don't shoot competition. This is just what I've been told. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I don't think I have enough for it. It didn't yeah. sound good. Really? I mean, you say you were 150 yeah, last night. Yeah, you already it's fine. I thought it'd be lighter, um, but it's fine. I mean, it's clean. I just thought it was going to be like half a pound or some shit. It's like kind of a yeah, sub gun uh, area. Like yeah, you got your little uh, SIG MPXK, SP5K, yeah, SPC, yeah. right? APC 90K, uh, one of those uh, LWRC SMB 45s. Yeah. So, and then of course APC 9 SD. Okay, is that what that is? I was like, I can't tell. I know it's an SD. I couldn't tell what it was. No. APC 9 SD. Right? You want to look at any of them? Um, I know those very well, and I think okay. our audience knows those very well. Okay. Be the Terran Leaf. Right. This is Jake's uh, this favorite. I mean, you look like a guy who would like a Terran Tactical Glock 27, chambered in 40 Smith and Wesson. Why did you make that? Why, why, why is that made? A subcompact Glock with 40? No clue. Who carries that? Who asked what for that? Brass? Sword yeah. International? Get out of here. Yeah, that's serious. The only. Place I've ever seen with a sword rifle. Yeah. This is actually our collab with them. Is it a collab? Yeah. Because they didn't, don't ask me why, they didn't do a 14.5 in that gun before. So we. It was six 16s and like 11 fives, I remember, yeah. right? So I picked all this stuff out Warcom, guys in the SDE, the guys in Charging Hill, B5 Furniture, Rated Selector. Let's make it more accurate. Oh yeah, I heard it does. Tech. Science. Well, because you're also a big knife hop guy, so yes, sir. that doesn't hurt anything. Big old Mark 23 action there. I was gonna say, you got a USB cut for a dot, and I was like, it's gotta be a Langdon, yep. It is. Badass. I don't think I've seen there one since they've been cutting them. All right, guys, last shop of the day for Hunt for Gucci Gun. We are here in the East Valley, East Valley Tactical to be specific. And uh, it's a great shop with some Gucci guns. So let's go see some Gucci guns. We're on the hunt for Gucci guns. So we're going to start taking a look at Gucci guns. Um, you guys are pretty busy right now. Is that okay if I grab some stuff? Do whatever, dude. Yeah. Is there anything of note? Any, any, any hitters you got? Well, let's wait a little bit. Let's see what we have now, and then we'll ask him for some. Let me ask you this. You got any hitters in the back? Any of that shit where you're like, oh, man, we got some wild shit back there. We've, we've seen the gamut of cool shit come out of the back of the shop. A lot of B&T stuff. A lot of B&T stuff. stuff. Well, and some, some good stuff. Yeah, a lot of the B&T stuff. Um, I think I have nothing that's too gnarly. Some Knights SBRs. Um, or like some antique weird shit. I mean, we've seen war guns come out. We've got Uzi's. Talk to me. <laughs> How do we look at those? Um, so we got some Uzis. We have... Can we look at the Uzis? Let's go look at the Uzis. All right, let's go look at the Uzis in just a minute. So these are some notables. A vector. Full auto. SBR, full yeah. auto. Fun. Which is cool. Um, ooh. Oh, wow. 
we run a we run a lithium, a cash nine, a bunch of different nine mil cans on that. Get out of here. Uh, this is pretty cool. You so, see, uh, oh yeah, well, yeah, we rocked uh, some of those uh, before. A lot of fun. A lot um, of fun. What's R that? Yeah, RPD, RPK. Yep. Yep. A lot of fun in seven six two. I'm assuming. Yeah. It's like RPK, RPK something. Yeah. So rifle dynamics builders kit oh, yeah. that we dropped a full auto kit into it, which is pretty cool. As you should. As you should. Or the, what's the, the story on those Uzis? Well, we'll talk about that when we look at the yeah. Uzis. I, I want to I want to see those. I'm, <laughs> yeah, in the market, I'm in the market for an Uzi right now. They're already sold. God damn you. Sorry. Things in the shop right now. Oh, yeah, this right. is badass, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that, you guys that, got one of these. Go Let's we'll see if I remember the uh, uh, the thing here, right? Isn't that the actually, button? Yeah. I like that's the button. Yeah, it goes back. have something for your first one. Oh, and then that goes forward. So I can do this. Yeah. That goes. So don't have any right that. now. It's kind of on the inside of it. Oh, yeah. Because I only have a Six to eight months. Um, <laughs> I do say our two ways to win. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have you seen the bag that thing comes out for? Yeah. Yeah. We saw the. We shot the prototypes of these. Yeah. Uh, with the guy that made. So this one already sold. Uh, yeah. Yep. So that one is so used. That one is I mean, it's so bad because they were at least the ones that we saw. They were cutting like a twenty round mag, so it would be flush with the barrel. Yes. Silver, right? So it wouldn't even extend the profile at all. Time starts as soon as slap that thing in. That's trippy. That's cool, man. That's a score. I'm surprised someone's picked that up. I know. We sold about six of them, so I'm surprised this last one's still here. I N twenty two, if that's your thing. Um, yeah. I mean, extremely lightweight. Yeah, wind suppressed, absolutely. It's money. I bet you run the piss out of that thing. Yeah, this is the one they just came out with. Right? Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. If I remember right. I mean, that's, that's a cool. phenomenal yeah. trigger. Like, uh, the Palmer one yeah. actually feels like really even. Just a right, like just trigger that, safety. No. It gets you like that that's wall, that's the take up there. right there. That's cool. Uh, I mean, on a polymer gun, that's about as good as a trigger is gonna get right there. Jeez. That's cool. We got a meeting with them at shop this year, so. Six, big street region, and then oh, here's the dang. Oh, what? Look at the, Speaking the language. Look at the nuts on these guys. Throwing an acro on a Mark 23. Who did the acro? He's coming in right now. That's how I was getting it ready to, for him to pick it up. Oh, really? Who oh, so this is a customer gun. Yeah, it's a customer gun. I got a good little zone going over here. Uh, SP5s, SPC, and that looks like that is the SD to me. Um, looks like that little shorty can on an SD, SPC. Um, Man, an FBE APC9 Pro, that's a good one. SP5K. Another freaking, uh, uh, or no, hang on, that's a GHM. No, yeah, I don't know. GHM SD. Okay, that threw me for a loop. That's pretty badass, actually. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, with SD? the yeah, with the FD, with the FDE um, APCs, man. I had to Cerakote mine because yep. you couldn't even get them at one point. <laughs> I have a couple different spots for machine guns. Oh, I got you, got you. If you can get middle tier, mid tier, with or without optic. Without. Okay, without optic. This is kind of last yeah. one, so you know, modern no, it's features. it's exactly what I want to do. It shoots yeah. great. No, it's exactly what I want. It shoots great. Yeah, that's what's up right there. That's what's up right there. And then this is probably my favorite machine gun. Yeah. The M11 with the laser upper. Huh. This thing, have you ever shot one of these? No, I didn't, I've never heard of that. Really? Mm -hmm. Check this thing out. So the machine gun's just a lower. And then this upper is made in Gilbert by Lage Manufacturing. Okay. And it's like you get a modern gun with a transferable machine gun lower. So best of both worlds. Oh man, I want to shoot this so bad. I, I mean, we can. I want to be friends with it. We could. Would would that be not okay? We could do that. Are you sure? Yeah. We could show it and everything. Yeah. Okay. We can shoot these if you want. But it will be I'm like a uh, Uzi Mini. Uh, Mini, correct? No, oh. standard, full size. Oh, is it right? Mm -hmm. Really? That's the oh, full size, 16 inch barrel. The minis. Um, I thought yeah. no, no, the micro is tiny. That's the one that looks like pistol. I thought that was this is transferable. So the mini came after the original Uzi. 
yeah. after 1987. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically exactly what I'm trying to do, except um, I just want to get even crazier with one. Just, but, yeah, whoever did this did a, did a, they got cool points. I just picked up this one last month, Ooh, that's T90 fun. SBR. It's fun. It's yeah. very fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. In full sure. auto, those are a blast. Yeah. Those are a blast. Engineering wise too, they're kind of fascinating. Mm -hmm. How it turns that round, you know? All right, summarizing the day. We hit three shops, all good, all solid shops. Um, very different vibes in each. Yeah. Uh, very different vibes. Do you have any, so I'm gonna say my standout highlight cause I just can't not. Uh, I'm on a, an obsessive Uzi mission right now. And so for me, multiple shops, having old school Uzis for me, that's just like, yep, no debate. That's what I'm taking at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. that's it. I'd say mine is the KH9. Yeah, okay. It's, I mean, this is the only shop I've ever seen one on the wall. I yep. had blast shooting that in Switzerland. I think it's a cool little niche gun with a really cool history. And uh, with it being Carl's hobby, it's kind of cool. Right? Yeah, um, yeah, it, it's, it, it, yeah. Um, a lot of good stuff today though. If you, if you were to go, okay, broad strokes like, the Gucciest of the Gucci, uh, the vaults coming in pretty damn strong on that one. Pretty strong just with the rifle selection, the pistol selection, all the different manufacturers for sure. Yeah. But also like, they're all pretty even though. Like it's pretty close. There's a lot of great stuff. A lot yep. of good stuff. A lot of great so. stuff out there. It's part of the fun, you know, driving around yep. different cities, seeing, hey, what's what's the cool stuff that we can just find hanging out uh, in shops right now. Mm -hmm. But that said, uh, you know, let's say whatever, you get a Uzi and you're gonna CCW that bad boy yeah. um, legally and you got into some shit and it popped off, what do you need? You better have firearms legal protection, which is concealed carry self-defense insurance, mm -hmm. right? Because again, you get in one of those scenarios, you're gonna wanna talk to someone. When you call FLP in one of those scenarios, you talk to a lawyer, Jake. Yeah. Not just a random person. You talk to a lawyer. They also cover your attorney's fees. They also have an on-site job cleanup. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah interesting way to say it, but I get where you're going with that. A um, few different tiers, um, you know, there's for folks that don't really travel that much. There's the family plan. There's the like, hey, it's the solo plan, but it covers you in all 50 states as long as you're you're legally caring. Um, check it out, Coach 1911. Uh, great service, something that we both have and uh, hopefully never need to use. 1911, to save you some cash. See you guys next time. Saves you about a third off, so not just some cash. It's a decent little chunk. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Later.